Hello and welcome to the NBS Show, episode 131. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Romuald. Hello, all you happy people. Hey, Rom, how are you doing, man? Slowly but surely. Surely but slowly. <laughs> Okie dokie lokey. So, slow start? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Also joining us today is Lionheart Cartoon. Hello, everybody. Hey, Lion, how are you doing, man? Doing good. Alive, sunny, sky's blue, everything's good. Heard you had an awesome night. A bit of a party uh, for co-workers and my wife. Uh, Tons of fun. Bit of booze, <laughs> tons of nachos, guacamole, you know, you call it. Even the greasy burgers. Awesome. You had guacamole! Gosh <laughs> darn it. <laughs> and you yes. only had potatoes, Rom. <laughs> I could use some guacamole. <laughs> Change that potato diet of yours? <laughs> nah, just a little bit of variety, you know. <laughs> Okie dokie dokie. Our guest for this week is Electro Blitz. Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> hey there, man, how are you? I'm fine, a little nervous, but that's normal. <laughs> Uh, we're just friends all here, man. We're, we're friends shooting the, um, what you call it, ship, and just hanging out, talking about ponies, and talking about you and what you do in the fandom and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, just ponies, relax. What else? I know. Yeah, so just relax, man. So anyway, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing fine, actually. Um, I've this weekend <clears throat> was a well-deserved weekend time to relax of four days of work. So yeah, I'm actually. Really happy to be here and, yeah, hopefully tell everyone what kind of stuff that I do in the fandom. Awesome, awesome. So, EB, before we start, I need to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, who is your favorite character? Do I need to choose one or can I use, you know, two or more? Multiple is allowed. Yes, we've had multiples before. I think, yeah, I would choose between the perfect blend of R.D. and Fluttershy. <laughs> Pegasus Power, yay! Yes! Ooh. All right, all right. So why those two? Oh, because, you know, for some reason I kind of uh, can, I can see them both in my own personality, to be honest. Ah. I'm, you know, I'm loyal to my people, to my friends, to my people. <laughs> <laughs> <Your> people. <laughs> all right. No, I'm really, really loyal, modest, nice. You know, some people say I might say cute, or might say that I'm literally fun to talk to, yeah. and you know, with Fluttershy, yeah, I'm nervous as I am right now. I'm, you know, I also have sometimes that, you know, when I meet someone in person, I'm literally like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> totally like that. Oh, okay. And yeah, I kind of, kind of see, you know, I kind of see RD and Fluttershy just perfectly, you know, fused together into just one personality and that, you know, might be me. Oh, okay. Understandable. I mean, sometimes you are shy meeting new people and once you meet them, you're loyal to them. Oh, understandable. Yeah. Understandable. So, what's your favorite episode from the show? I think I will go with um, Canterlock Gardens. The Canterlock. one with, uh, yeah, with the wedding and stuff. Oh, you mean, the uh, the pff, yeah, what was... and... Oh, what was the episode called? I wish James was here right now. Um, a cantaloupe wedding, not a garden. I think cantaloupe. it's called cantaloupe wedding. Yeah, yeah. The garden yes, is, is the convention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anywho, yeah. That, that's an awesome episode. You got action, you got intrigue, you got... You got emotions, the yeah, yeah. difference between good and bad side. and Also, yeah. you got an awesome song in it. So, yeah, awesome. Yes. So, how do you become a fan of the show? Well, it started in 2011 when it started. I was kind of getting sick of seeing my parents watch crime scene. <laughs> and, you know, that's literally, you know, what happens. I, I, hate, I literally got sick of my parents watching crime scene, seeing the awful news on the news lately mm -hmm. and seeing, you know, things that doesn't make anyone happy and just like, yeah, it kind of, it kind of put me down more. And at some point I was like, Enough screw of this. this. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like, screw yeah. this. I'm gonna. Go I went upstairs, going on my computer. Someone actually, you know, I saw pictures and it intrigued me. So I literally looked it up because oh, no. I'm not American. Because I'm not American. Alright. I'm not able to see it on TV because we don't have it on TV. We mm -hmm. do have it on TV, but then in my horrible Dutch language, where oh, every no. word is squeezed in together. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> not even joking. So. Uh, I, you know, I started watching it and yeah, I 
literally love it. It's totally, you know, instead of, you know, all the thing, all the bad things that I said before, it's just all rainbows and all flowers and yeah, it also brings lessons over to people, right. you know. So when was this? Uh, when did it click? Uh, first episode or uh, the after first three? ever episode? Really? Literally, when it... it went on YouTube, I just I need to be totally. Uh, I'm gonna be totally honest. The right, first right. and second episode. On the second episode, when the climax happened with, um, when uh, when Nightmare Moon became Luna, you know mm-hmm, the little mm-hmm. Vuna, yeah, yeah. as we call them Vuna. But anywho. Vuna, uh, yeah, I actually already was. I was crying like a baby. Really? You know, on yes. the second episode already converted. Wow, that's fast. Yes, I was uh, crying as a baby, and I'm not even humiliated by it. It was amazing, and it was just, you know, it was a mix of not crying out loud, as in, you know, yeah, it's just you like know? many not, tears, not that, many but tears. Just, just, just happy tears, actually. Yeah, yeah, all right, so all right. Happy tears from, you know. It something happens, but it getting good at the same time, you know. Right, they need right. to be stuff more than that, you know. <laughs> just happy, happy after after, you know. All right. I mean, um, and, that was an awesome start, yeah. Yeah, and that's how I started out. Yeah, mm. it helped me also with depression, but you know that's common into fandom. Mm, so right. yeah, it actually you know motivated me to actually you know love what I do. Oh, awesome. And. Awesome. Not only that, uh, those two episodes, more episodes made me cry. Ah, uh, all right. So, all right. Uh, you know, some were, you know, I think you would agree, some were literally soul touching. Yeah. Cancel up, God, I want to say, <laughs> Cancel up Wedding again. But uh, Cancel up Wedding was actually also that made me cry. All right. Happy tears, you know. Yeah, it's a wedding. It made, if, even made me cry. No, no, it made me cry off the whole plot of, you know, Twilight not being um, thrusted by it, you know. Oh like, yeah. Um, when Shining Armor said I wouldn't show up at the wedding at all, I was <laughs> like, I was like, oh. Iron Man, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. But still, but yeah. still. All right. And the last question is, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Well, my friends are actually quite accepting about it. I don't really wear. This stuff to work because you know professionalism for you know not ju- just that because you know I'm working for the government ah and, yes professionalism yeah <laughs> you know get it you're not having a meeting with people with a brony <laughs> shirt on and actually you know like you wouldn't even go past the two security <laughs> <laughs> just oh, saying I, I wonder if what happened if you did <laughs> you got any weapons with you no just ponies okay <laughs> good bro get along to you know? just the rainbow dash underwear oh god oh, those <laughs> exist. Seriously, those exist. Yes, they do. I'm looking at a pair right now. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but sometimes I really do, and I don't even care what people think about it. I go with it to, you know, in the bus. I go to, you know, if I have a meetup in the Netherlands, I go there from beginning to start of the travel with my brony shirt on. Oh, that's in I the public. Even, you know, at, even at Buck, when we went to Buck, yeah, yeah. Like like a few months ago, I actually just went the whole trip with boat, with bus. I went all the way with my brain shot on. I was so happy to go there. And, you know, it also kind of, you know, good things came in too. Because um, there was actually some activity in Manchester as well that made us and literally us blend in perfectly well. Yeah, they are quite accepting. And I actually got word a few days ago that someone who actually mocked me, you know, a friend of me who they just couldn't understand why I like that show. Mm-hmm. Actually, a few days ago, I got word he could actually suck in as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. And that that's like almost three years later. I'm liking <laughs> it now. And I was like, what? <laughs> so it's just like one of those things like, ah, this sucks. And then... Like, you made me proud, son. <laughs> three years later. <laughs> I love the show. I love it. You know, I'm, I'm looking into it and I love it, man. I told you. <laughs> Well, I've been yes. dead because of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually, he actually ended up like, like, like I hate you now. <laughs> I love you, too, brother. Uh, yes. <laughs> Next step, an OC. <laughs> and yeah. then the world. That, that's always no, no, no. Next step, OCs, and then shipping, and then the world. <laughs> yeah, right. 
right, there has to have some shifts somewhere. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, that's that's an awesome story, now man. We have to make a fanfic about plots about plots. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta uh, be plots about plots. You know? uh, that's gonna be so convoluted. <laughs> Isn't that Backy's Tumblr blog? <laughs> I don't know. It could be also crossovers. I don't know. Uh, but, but anywho, but anywho, thank you, EB, for answering those four important questions. And uh, we shall move on with the show. Let, let's go on to the next topic. And Rom is housekeeping. Yay, housekeeping. <clears throat> housekeeping. In today's housekeeping, Everfree Northwest 2015, help wanted. Our good friends at Everfree Northwest is looking for help, and here is what they need. Everfree Northwest looking for volunteers. Do you want to help make Everfree Northwest 2015 the best convention that it can be? Then Everfree Northwest wants you. Volunteer applications for the Pacific Northwest Premier MLP Fan Convention are now open on our website at everfreenw.com slash volunteer. There are currently many open volunteer positions currently available, such as guest relations, production, public relation, music, writing, logistics, charity, cosplay, electronic gaming, tabletop gaming, and many, many more. View all the open positions with detailed descriptions from over a dozen departments at everfreenw.com slash open dash positions. Don't wait. Apply today. Yay. Everfree Northwest is coming back again, and looks like they need help, and they really deserve it, man, because they run a tight ship over there. So, yay. I want to apply for the many more position. <laughs> I wonder what they have for many more. I wonder what. I wonder how that looks like. Many more position. I wonder if you have a French fry stand position. <coughs> I could totally fill in that one. Oh wow! I, I hope they can ship you, man. <laughs> in crates. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, you don't ship potatoes in crates. You ship them in sacks. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> in a world that's perfect, they're shipped in sacks. <laughs> but anywho, yeah. If you're interested in helping them, go check them out. So, anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic, and next topic is guest time. Our guest for this week is Electro Blitz. He's a vocalist for LOE, Legend of Equestria, and he's on the show now. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Fine, Hello, thank man. you. Fine. So, Electro, mind telling us who you are and what you do to the people who might not know? Well, I'm known as Electro Blitz, uh, or Rick for sure, but mm-hmm. that's how people call me. All right. Yeah, I've been a singer for 12 years, not in the fandom, because I, I would wish I would, you know, be there for 12 years. <laughs> I'm a VA and a um, musician as a hobby, and I'm currently um, one of the main VAs for LOE. Ah, awesome, awesome, awesome. So how did you get involved with LOE? Because LOE seems to be one of those big projects that's really big right now. So how did you get involved? I actually got involved by, uh, not, uh, not by me asking them, but literally just, you know, by shocking events, literally being asked by the, um, writing lead to actually, that, that she actually loved my voice that much and wanted me in. Oh. Um, I actually started when I actually posted my stuff on YouTube, and for some, you know, it was just a coincidence that she actually stumbled on my YouTube, listened to it, and, that's how it all started. She loved it, and yeah. Oh, so it was by chance then. Wow, that's awesome. Of well, you. it was it was just luck, I guess. Just plain luck that she wanted to, and actually have all my thanks to her for actually, you know, making it happen. Hmm, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, what is your role in LOE? A voice actor. Other than that, like how many? Things do you do other than the voice? Well, I'm I'm uh, I accept my voice. I'm also a moderator for a forum and in game. I moderate um, that people behave on the game itself when it's an open weekend. <laughs> I keep in yeah check of the forums and the chat and make sure everyone has a happy time and do it with a happy smile on my face. And oh. so you yeah. double duty then. Not only I actually, do as, uh... actually do double duty because, you know, voice acting is not on the on the highest pitch right now because, you know, we first wanted to uh, make sure everything works and then move on to the levels of details, you know what I mean? Okay, so as for now, um, you can say anything much about the voice uh, acting part, right? Well, I cannot say what I will be voicing. I cannot say, yeah, just plain set. So... Not really, just basic stuff. All right, so I'm I'm guessing that you already have an OC generated in there, right? 
<laughs> not my OC, unfortunately. I would oh. wish that, but <laughs> oh. but I, I got I got you know if if you meant that with uh, what my voice is going to be, no, it's no, not no. going to be my uh, original OC. But I do have my own OC. What I will be running around in the uh, game itself. All right. So because so. I I tried to build my own OC and well, it was the best that I could do. <laughs> dum dum dum. You need to literally spend some time to actually make a perfect one. The thing is, is that, you know, with an open weekend, you don't have that much time as <laughs> most people want to make their characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, there is all haste, 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 haste. Oh, my God, it's uh, two hours already. I'm <laughs> not even done with my character yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is the best part about any... Um, open world MMO kind of thing, it's just the character building, like, oh, I'm gonna make this look right, I'm gonna make this look right, oh, okay. I wanna be Pegasus, no, a unicorn, no Pegasus, oh god! I uh, wanna be both! Oh god, you cannot be, it's OP. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you oh, wanted yeah. to say something? No, no. everything's good, I'm just right. laughing at that. Right. <laughs> the antics of always creating a perfect OC. <laughs> yeah, there's never, there's never such a thing called a perfect OC. There's interesting, but never perfect. With the open server, I've seen a lot of interesting stuff. For example, the Internet Explorer pony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a Firefox pony. Mm-hmm. And all those, you know, parodies of tumblers and all <laughs> yeah. that funny stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, some stuff that, you know, that I did need, uh, that was quite, like, I don't think that deserves a spot in a all-age-friendly MMO. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, besides that, it was actually... An amazing experience. So, EB, um, you you did say that you moderate the game and also the forum. So, I'm going to ask you about moderation in the game. So, what do you do in game as a moderator? Do you ban people? Do you tell them not to do this and that? I mean, what's your what do you do? What do you do? Well, what I need to do is literally, you know, for example, play around. That's mm-hmm. what everyone does in MMOs. You mm-hmm. know, play mm-hmm. around in quests. And at the same time, I need to, you know, keep track of the chat box. That's all I need to do, really, as a moderator. Huh. Keep track of the chat box, whisper people if they, you know, say something that's not allowed. And just handling reports in game. And that's basically all that I do. All huh. while dancing on my hoof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when when I played a bit of it, I, I saw a lot of dancing. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm just dancing and just watching the stream, and actually at the same time, yeah, yeah, stop that, yay, you know, okay, just okay. to gunga or something, you know, just gungle, gungle around, hopping around, and just. All right, all right. So, have you ever had yeah. to ban someone? Not really. Oh. People were quite, you know. People were there to have fun, and uh, of course there are trolls, and of mm-hmm. course there are people that want to do more than just having fun. Oh but my! It was a lot less than previous open server weekends. Uh. A lot of people like it. A lot of people really spend time with friends. They make new friends, huh. and yeah, it was a happy environment, like it should be. Oh, huh, okay. You wanted to say something, Ryan? When did you guys play the game? Because right now the LOE is not even available. We're hard working on getting it ready, but you know, oh, what okay, so people it's not don't. Yet. It's it's still in alpha, but what a lot of people and a lot of kids as well don't understand how long and how much work it takes to actually make it better. Mm-hmm. You know, people can expect to. You know, people can complain of you know when is the survey gonna happen again? You know, when it's gonna be out of beta? But people just unless you work. And know how programs or the engine or all that works or the elements. Mm. You won't understand how complicated uh, most of this. Okay, I, I can just imagine because um, from what I heard during your first um, alpha or first server test, uh, you didn't hundred percent use all of the server's power, all the server's no, core. We from have my... less power now. That's yeah. the thing. So that's what so, I heard from the first launch, but um, on the second one, it seems to be running well, right? Yes, it's running well. Well, the last server weekend, we're actually stretch testing. Oh, yeah. Look at finding the perfect amount of people that are able to join the server mm. without getting overloaded. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, basically, you know, you, you know, if if I need to explain how hard it is to actually make a game <laughs> and make it work. And, you know, how much effort into it. You need to just think about a massive book, like around 400 pages. <laughs> and one page got a missed copy of just one comma. Oh, and you God. need to find that one comma 
before uh, or everything. else. Yeah, yeah. Understandable. understandable. So you also said that you handle the forums. So how do, are things run around in the forums? Is it the same thing or is it run differently for you? Well, it's differently. You know, it's 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 not real time, and that's and you know that's a gift. You know because. You know, it's printed down, and you don't have to keep up and track with everything that's being said. Right. Um, you have like a log that people made, uh, what people did, and all that. And it's a lot less frustrating than it is to moderate the game itself. Uh. It's um, if something uh, if something is posted that is against the rules, then people are literally reporting it. The second it's posted. Okay, Where that's right. in game, if something happens, then you need to literally scan through the whole chat box, oh, and you don't want to know how many pages that is to actually find that person that did something. Oh god, that's not fun at all. So, you know, actually, only do it only being on form duty is like a vacation. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. So, other than that, um, forum duty is fun then. Okay. So, uh, be- no. okay, so besides all the, what you want to call this, uh, besides um, doing things for LOE, you also do other things in the fandom, am I right? Yeah, I sing, I sing in the fandom. I collaborate with Free Brony a few days ago. Oh, awesome. How did that start it like? Um, who asked first? Did you approach him or did he approach you? Well, I approached him. You know, you don't want to know how nervous I was to actually ask him. All right. The thing is that um, he actually appreciates when people ask him. It's just that he's really busy. Yeah. He really wants to help out everyone. And it's just that I was one of the lucky people that actually was able to get a part of his time that was already squeezed and, you know, down together. Mm. And... Yeah, we he went to talk to each other. I told him my backstory, and yeah, that's how we both came up with the idea of having it a bit like, like, like an emotional and um, emotional song that I both explains the emotions, but also mm. brings out the emotions, that brings out and, um, the feel and the story, and that's how we actually came up with it. I've heard the song, and it's pretty awesome, and. We've talked to for free before, and he was a pretty awesome guy. He is. He's really awesome. He's really nice. He's mm-hmm. sweet. He's caring. He literally understands how someone feels, and literally just wants to help out. That's uh, that's what he wants to do. He wants to help out. He wants to just bring out the best out of someone, and that's what he definitely did with me. Oh, awesome! 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 So, besides singing, well, you have a history of singing for 12 years now. So, besides singing, you also do voice acting, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, so, not only for LOE, you also do for your own personal things and for other people's too? Yeah, I do. I'm currently into two projects. One that's actually been in the works for two years. Ah. You know, we're, we're doing it slow when we're doing it behind the scenes. Just, you know, because we don't get the pressure that normally the fandom gives up. Not that the, that pressure is a bad thing, but, you know, if if a lot of people, if you get the feeling that a lot of people are waiting for it, then you kind of want to rush it. And that's why we choose not to. Sometimes too much pressure is not the good because, well, it puts you under pressure and stresses you out and you might do things not right, something like that. Well, it's just that you try to get shortcuts to do stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah. that's the thing with animations, you don't want that. It's just, it begins from just scrap to actually, you know, just stories, chapters, and from chapters it began to literally just storyboards, and you actually have amazing characters being, and custom characters, not or less, made to actually make it look like a new experience. It's going to be a 12 episode fan made episode of MLP. It's going to have, you know, known, known characters in it from the actual show. It got even custom made characters, even custom made, I almost want to call it custom um, types of ponies. Mm. So this is with the Wub, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, the Wub. I'm not allowed to say a lot of it because, you know, the yeah. only thing that's been upped is the proto catch animation. Yeah, yeah. But I can tell that it's really it's really gonna be awesome and 
So, were, was it you that spoke for the villain character? No, it was not me. Even oh. though it's gonna sound like it, but it wasn't me. I wasn't in that. Episode. I wasn't in that teaser. It's gonna uh, be. A teaser. Okay, it's, it's because <laughs> it sounded almost like you. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the funny thing. A lot of people came to me for that, and it, <laughs> it's not me. It's just. Actually, it's actually the animator that actually voices that. Oh, really? No. <laughs> yes. All right. Hmm. And when I first saw it, how it developed into actually, you know, the teaser, All I right. actually laughed so hard. It actually, you know, made me cry <laughs> with laughing at the same time. All right. All it was right. amazing. So it's going to take a long time because, you know, 12 episodes are not made within minutes. Uh, it's right. not made within days or months. Right. It's going to take a while. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, at least it's moving slowly. It's moving slowly, standingly, and, you know, the slower the better. That's <laughs> actually what I'm able to say. All right, okay, cool. So this is with the web. So you're also trying to work with another studio, right? Yeah, I'm actually trying to... Um, trying. I'm actually in conversations with um, Nightfall Studios. I'm trying to be included. It's it's just that I literally love how they voice act, how they do stuff. It's both silly, it's both amazing, it's both awesome. The thing that I do want to do with that. Hmm, all right. I've seen their thing too, and well, they announced a few things, uh, adding new animators, adding new voices and whatnot. So I'm guessing you're also there in that um, group too, right? Possible, highly possible. It's just that you know, at this time, at this rate, they you know, we're all busy with our personal lives while doing studies and while doing you know college and you no, know, it's just these days because yeah, it's it's going slowly, but you know, that's the thing. You don't want to rush things, and real life always and will always have priority <laughs> to it. Yeah, I know the feels. I I know what you mean. So, well, there's this and also with the webs. So, anything else that you do for other people or is it just this two I videos? do silly voices when people are down. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. So, basically, you're the Pinkie Pie of the group then. I'm the silly guy, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so much I'm the silly also. guy. When I, you know, when I'm bored, I do voices a lot. <laughs> people say that I can kind of a bit do not not one of the greatest but I can do button mash a bit <laughs> I can you know go silly I can go cute I can go literally just that's my own OC I can you know what people think is that you know a man never can go that high but I think I'm literally one of the people who can literally tell them wrong or show them wrong because I can go both high I can go both low I can, can literally just do both. If I call customer support because my PlayStation is broken, for example, <laughs> then they literally think I'm a miss. <laughs> oh my. I'm not even joking. They think I'm a miss, and then at some point it's just like... Let's just roll with it. <laughs> yeah, if, if I lower my tone, it's suddenly like they're getting confused. Like, <laughs> oh, welcome to the club. Like, oh, sorry, missus. <laughs> It's Mister. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's Mitch, Mister. Yeah, Miss um, Mister. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but I actually had that the same person on the call missed me, literally oh. missed quote me for four times in the same call. Wow. I'm sir. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> so Miss, what? Well, no, you know, can you tell me your? No, it's a sir. Then that four times, and even at the end, have a great day, Miss. Yeah, have a great day. Sir, <laughs> actually went to her that way. <laughs> well, <clears throat> so uh, well, no comment there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, besides gender swapping around, <laughs> sounds like you're uh, having fun and all around awesome guy. Yeah, I think that's a lot of things that I can do that I never show people yet. For example, I even sang with helium while I literally <sighs> stung that helium. Dear God. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. I'm. I sang while I had helium. Oh, Three God. balloons gave their life for me to stop laughing. <laughs> um, the other two was just me singing a sweetie bell. I'm not <laughs> even joking. I sounded like it, and people were like, "That's not you. You edited it. You modified it. You pitched it." No, I didn't. I just got stoned of helium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. uh, okay, officially that's just pitching as well. But, yeah, but, no. <laughs> yeah, but it's IRL pitching. <laughs> it's just mm. like a hello. 
Alright. So, yeah. Alright, I do so. crazy stuff as well. So, um, Lion, you got any questions? Well, you were mentioning something about when you were working for uh, the web that the projects seem to have different types of ponies. Is it a different uh, animation style or look or just the fact that... It's well, literally there's... MOP style. It's literally MOP style and the thing is mm -hmm. that it's just, you can see it more as a different race. It's the, it's like, it's right. like It's the same race, but then in a different way. Aren't you afraid example, some people like, are going to come out to you guys uh, saying you took assets from the leaks and whatnot? No, it, uh, the custom-made models, how I call them, are literally custom-made. Mm -hmm. You're not able, not at all, able to compare them with others. The thing is, is that you never will be able to see a Pegasus android. For example, what I, what I meant about that is um, some of the characters in there, which are in the show style, there's a, a, a bit, somewhat of an uproar lately in the fact that anyone who not, manages to know, get a pony not. video out are going to get are actually being targeted as you're cheating your way out. Well, it's not really, not really. It's just that you know right. you're just doing what you love to do, and it's a fan, mm -hmm. it's a fan effort. And the thing is that you know people might complain, but that's with everything. Everything, yes, you exactly. always get complaints and projects. You always get uh, people saying that that should be better or that is horrible or <laughs> that is amazing. You know, it's just totally mixed. That's the part of feedback. You get good things and bad things. The thing is, I never ever saw a project only getting positive feedbacks. You always get those people that are just not really happy what they see. And there's nothing Tell you can do. It. <laughs> The thing is, is that You just, you know, accusations are always there, but it doesn't mean they are always right about it. The thing is that the Android ponies are just going to be amazing, awesome, and unique. True that, true that. I mean... They do look it. <laughs> yeah. You, For example, you... it's the first time, you know, that, that you know, RD being a robot. We all know RD as a robot, but the thing is, in the first time, they also didn't like it. But that didn't stop the animator from making more stuff, and at the end they all liked it. You see it everywhere. The one you see with... people even cosplaying about it. Mm. RD Robot, are you talking about... Cross... Yeah, that oh, one, yeah. You know, that one. And you see even people <laughs> cosplay as it right now. It's just, in the beginning it was hated, but, you know, the animator didn't care and just... Just rolled with yeah, it? Yeah, all right. Just keep doing it, and at some point it's just liked. You know, it's always the first impression that make people either hate it, like it, or love it. And if you give people enough time to actually change that first impression into a second opinion, that's the thing that you actually should do. Oh, true, true. I mean, uh, with with some things in the fandom, like Fufflepuff, she was confusing at first, but later on people got to like her, and she's pretty awesome. Same with Derpy. You know, I really... Really, am sad that she doesn't really appear that much as she would have deserved. Oh, yeah. The thing is that you know she is weird as well. She's weird. She is you know derpy, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, is that it's just amazing design. It's amazing, and you no, know, I don't know why people complain that much about it because yeah. everyone is derpy sometimes. When I go to my work, they, I, you can bet, you can bet, I'm derpy when I join. When I'm going to my office, and the first thing I do, don't talk to me. Coffee, <laughs> coffee, first. coffee first, voice later. <laughs> coffee first. Yes, coffee that first. is so true. And, you know, and then you take a sip of your coffee. Okay, and now you can. You know, totally normal. Suddenly, <laughs> like, 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 yeah. boing. Now you can. <laughs> all right, all right. So, yeah. Uh, besides that, uh, Rom, any questions? Oh, nah, I got it. Oh yeah, one question. How much helium did you have again? <laughs> well, let me count the casualties. Um, <laughs> three, right? Let's see here. Three balloons. I actually, the first balloon, I just only laughed. I couldn't even realize like that's me. Are you kidding me? Then the second balloon, it was you know a lot less. But then we started doing silly things, and the third balloon just you know totally was a waste of helium laugh and. <laughs> 
just me being like, like <laughs> I want to sound like this forever. <laughs> oh, no. And then after the fourth and fifth balloon, I was like, oh shit, my balloons are gonna, like, the casualties are highing up. I am <laughs> almost out of men, you know. And then suddenly, you know, I just, you know, do what I need to do. And yeah, that's how I came up with that song that I still have, actually, quite on a private SoundCloud link that uh. is allowed to touch and. Things would go boom if they touch it. But, <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> but the thing is, I like literally, I'm thinking of just you know, turn it over into, you no, know, a public link just oh, all right. for people to have a laugh, a good goal, or just you know, like like that's not you. <laughs> all right, all right. The casualties were high. Yeah, too many balloons. High, you get it. The casualties were high. Long. <laughs> oh yeah. you. Oh you and your puns. Oh you. Hmm. All right. So, EB, I guess that's most of the questions that we have for now. Um, thank you for answering them. You've been an awesome guest, man. Ah, thank you, man. That was uh, it was an honor to be here. Awesome. So, uh, we're going to move on to the next topic, and next topic is news time. You think you can join, man? Yeah, sure. All right. Awesome. So, Rom, let's start off news time. Yay! News time. Uh, before we begin, can I just say thank you to our loyal listeners for, like, pointing out what I did wrong at my job? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I kind of messed up there. But I was trying, you know, to go for the professional American kind of newscast. So you know how they speak. <laughs> like a machine gun fires their bullets. Yeah, probably I should have not done it in the first place. But, yeah, this is kind of, like, you know, refreshing, knowing that people actually write to us. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and telling me how to do my job. Because, you know, that's what helps improve things you Indeedy. know Indeedy. criticism totally, yes. i was looking for that so yeah i'm gonna try and take this slowly no that's so awesome. okay maybe not that's a bit higher okay so i am romeo alden now it's news time and the mbs show in today's news time hot topics variant cover for mlp comic issue 24 hot topic is well known for many things including their good looking mlp comic covers this time for issue 24, they have an excellent cover. The cover is a parody of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Pre-order are available now with an October 8th release date. This can be found in the show notes below. Yay, so excellent. <laughs> like, <laughs> excellent! I know, there's too many. I love that movie! <laughs> I know! Um, and the animated series. Oh, yeah, the animated series exists. Yes, there was an animated series. Well, there was after the movie came out. Yeah, like, yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, but oh, basically, yes. this yeah, is the far, American far Doctor Who. Land. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, do, do, do. Whoa, I can't, <laughs> That's I, can't, cover. I can't believe you guys remember the cartoon series. <laughs> Dude, anyway. it was like one of my favorite cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Of course I remember it. So, anywho, um, yeah, this cover, um, if, uh, for those who don't mind a bit of spoilers, um, Book 24 is going to be a one-shot issue involving Discord and Fluttershy, time-traveling, so yay. That's, that's <laughs> an amazing. That's Yay. quite interesting. Mm-hmm. And the CMC. So with yeah, with also the CMC. You forget to mention that. So with them traveling through time in a phone booth and using the Bill and Ted's movie posters, the reference that's awesome. Bloody brilliant! I know. And uh, how do I put this? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's there's a lot of things I can't say. This is just awesome. I just want one. So. If you're lucky enough to go to Hot Topic and get this cover, get it because it's really awesome. It's excellent. Uh, you might yes, say. it's excellent. Party on, dudes! Be excellent toward another. Indeed. <laughs> uh, I can say much. So, um, Lion, got anything to say about this cover? Well, it's on par with everything that's, that has a little, um, let's say, a callback. Even in the show, there's always some little. Anecdotes. I was a little something pointing to either a pop culture reference, and this one is an, yet another one. <laughs> I think there was a Big Lebowski uh, yeah, was, reference at one yeah, point, the and there were some other cartoon reference. You, you have Pepe Le Pew reference when Pinky uh, follows Rainbow Dash around. You know, they they have tons of those little references left and right. And seeing something like this coming for the uh, for the comic book is still kind of nice. I'm I'm pretty sure there might be more if I were to look deeper into it, but. Yeah, that's one of the better ones. Yeah, I mean the comics have a lot of reference to other things. Like if you take a look, see, you always notice Andy Price and Katie Cook there as they're OC walking around, or even um, other things I, I can't remember because I'm derpy with my 
uh, memory right now. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things. Go, go listen to the MBS show reviews. We review comics there, so yay. Um, but anywho, um, Rom and EB, you got anything to say about this cover? It's well, beautiful. <laughs> I love Far, it. Just look at the face of Farsh. She's like, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to be here. And then, you know, the cutie Mark Crusaders are like, oh, yippee! You know? <laughs> cutie Mark Crusaders are time traveling! Oh, I can see my house from here! <laughs> oh, God. You know what? Yay! <laughs> so, it looks awesome. So, yeah, I mean, um, I if I do a hot topic buy, I'm going to get this cover because, you know what? It's worth it. So, anywho, moving on to the next news. And talking about hot topic, <laughs> we got another hot topic in our hands. Right. Space Lab 9 to release MLP vinyl record for Hot Topic. In this day and age of digital media, compact discs, cassette tapes, and vinyl records are rare items that are not easily found in the wild. Space Lab 9, a company dedicated to producing vinyl records for TV shows and movies, are going to release My Little Pony Equestria Girl's Rainbow Rocks vinyl record. The record will be released on September 16th and will be available at Hot Topic. Which can be found in the show notes below. So, yeah, vinyls. Who, who would have thought, right? <laughs> Those things are like, oh my goodness, how old? Well, here's the thing, and here's something surprising for you all. Um, vinyl records, they're not a rarity that, as much as you think because most of the work that DJs do, like, you know, like, DJs in clubs use vinyls. And, well, people do keep buying records because they produce a higher quality sound than um, or MP3s or even compact discs. Well, you might not know, but vinyl records also go into um, new technology. And, yeah, it's actually still going around with its time, getting, you know, the vinyl... The quality is getting better. You even get sounds of a final that you wouldn't get in the first place, you know, when, you know, in the year 80s or something. Mm, true, true. It's just everything is just moving on. And people, my kids might say finals are getting old, but it's still the literal main thing that, yeah, that DJs use. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. DJs still use vinyls left and right, and analog like this often gives a much better sound. Quadraphonic sound came thanks to the, the vinyls. Forget about getting something like this on the cassette tapes, which is essentially just stereo. There's a huge quality difference between an actual analog vinyl and a CD, even though everyone said, oh my god, it's digital now, it's perfect. No, it's not. It's like trying to compare your computer screen, screen with the printed letter on the page. Yep. The higher resolution of the letter is going to be there, but you're still stuck with pixels and translated uh, data from something that has been digitized. Oh, that is true, that is true. Yeah, like, like, like uh, for some reason, suddenly on the vinyl, you hear that Windows has crashed. And, you know, like, 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 yeah, you don't see that on vinyls. You know? Yeah, I mean, true. No, you don't. True with, um, how I put this, with vinyls, they're awesome, but the thing is with vinyls, it's kind of hard to get because, for example, if you go to Space Lab 9's website, they have a lot of other products like the Breaking Bad soundtrack. And that thing on CD is just two CDs, but on vinyl, they only have four vinyls and in one vinyl, they only have five songs and they're split into four vinyls for their whole album. So yeah, I mean, with vinyls, they're awesome, but they don't make good space in them. So yeah, you have to deal with that also. Well, depending on the vinyl, you can get either 30 minutes or 15 minutes on each side. Uh, it, it really all depends. Those look like they're the big kind, the like uh, 33 RPM one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, those usually give the best quality because the sound is stretched out over a longer distance. Oh, okay. Pardon? It's always also kind of, it also matters if the needle is thick or thinner. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that comes into into play with this. Uh, but having a vinyl here myself, I mean, those kinds really look nice. The, the type that are printed and all, mm-hmm. even way back when, those were really novelty vinyls. And getting any which one, if you kept it more than five years, it would triple and quadruple in price because it was so rare. True, 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 true. And um, I'm on their website right now, and okay, they have four, well, technically two discs, and it's side A and side B. 
and only total of 20 songs. So yeah, <laughs> uh, it's not that bad, but still, it's one of those things. So if you're into the... I want the Luna version. <laughs> Luna version, yes. It's a black, yes. it's a black disc, and yeah, I mean, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they have two variants of it. One is the Celestia vinyl, and one is the Luna vinyl. And if you like vinyls, I would suggest going for the Luna because it's a black disc printed on. And is this only for like uh, Hot Topic, or is it on their website as well? For now, I'm only guessing it's on Hot Topic, but. You could also get it on their website when it's released, but I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Hmm, I'll take a look. Mm-hmm. I, I would be interested in getting this just because of the fact that it's a vinyl. <laughs> so, Rom, what do you think, man? Back when I was little, well, shorter anyway, mm-hmm. in the beginning, in the early years of school, we still had one of those vinyl record uh, player thingies, devices, right. contraptions even. <laughs> All right. It took up the entire teacher's table. <laughs> well, half of it anyway. Yeah, and we had different, like, we were doing music class. Our teacher would start playing Mozart, Bach, and other classical composers. Yeah. How did it sound? It was pretty good, actually. Really? No. I mean, is it one of those yeah. modern kind of vinyls, or is it one of those gramophones that you can, that's on... Gramophones, gramophones. On TV? We really? had gramophones. Like, yep. you crank it and then, like, Really? Yeah, well, we had one of those, and the other ones were electrical. But yeah, we did have one of those. <gasps> wow, you got me there. I mean, wow, I'm shocked. It was it sound well, pretty good. Not as good as a modern radio, but still pretty damn good. <laughs> okay. It's like it was a yesterday. And EB, what about you, man? Yeah, I really love it. It brings back the old times, and I really love it. My father was a DJ as well yeah, back in the day. DJ? You and... your father's a DJ? Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was a DJ. Huh. He's getting old right now. Wow. So okay. Do that so let me guess. He's not. He's not known. He's just doing it for parties right. and stuff. So let me guess. You have a lot of vinyls in your house, right? Well, hmm? not here. Oh. My dad always have them. My parents are separated, uh. so my uh, my dad actually got them a lot of them, really. And you would not be able to imagine how many wops are able to come out of a vinyl. <laughs> all right. All right. It's amazing. Wow. Oh yes. Uh, At the moment you have the good amp. I mean, you you can have the turntable and connect it to very poor sound system, and you would hear like every crackle pop possible. But if you have a good amp with everything, either with lamps or pro- audio professional grade caps inside, you're gonna get the massive sound boost that everyone is talking about. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> so okay, Lion. I'm I'm guessing you're an expert at this. So tell me. No. No, really? Okay, you're knowledgeable. I'm not an expert, I just know enough. Okay, you're knowledgeable in this, but okay, tell me, man. You you have a vinyl in you right now, and mm-hmm. do you have a player for it? Not at the moment. I like the space for a turntable, mm. and besides, uh, I still have to do a bit of research in order to get one that I can either connect to my system that will allow me to play it correctly, because I've got an, an uh, audiophile-grade sound card, okay. so connecting it to it would bring everything alive. My cans are, like, bad, but the speakers that I have are also uh, oh, enthusiast mm. slash audiophile grade. All right, all right. Oh, okay. So, so I would hear the good part of, of a vinyl. It's just having a turntable right now is sadly not an option, oh, right. but I'm super proud of having the Ghostbusters original <sighs> soundtrack on vinyl. Oh, my. Uh, that's an original? Yes. Wow, because I, I've browsed through Hot Topic, and they have it. Yeah, for, for like four times the price I got it for. <laughs> How much have you got yours? I got it for five bucks <laughs> at, a, at a flea market, and there's not a scratch on it. Oh, man, that's, that's just awesome, Jelly, right now. I, I think I'm literally the only one here who haven't experienced a vinyl record before. Have, have you ever went clubbing, man? Dude, my only clubbing is magic. So, yeah, Friday Night Magic, well, yo. <laughs> all right, fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so anywho, um, talking about um, Equestria Girls and vinyl records, let's move on to the next one, which is related. And then last but not least, My Little Pony Equestria Girls Rainbow Rock soundtrack available on iTunes now. After a slight delay, the My Little Pony Equestria Girls Rainbow Rock soundtrack is out on iTunes. The album cost is $9.99 and features 10 songs from the movie. 
Links can be found in the show notes below. Yay. I've got it, and it sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, all the musics or just uh, the Battle of the Bands? I love them all, really, because, spoilers, songs in this are from the movie, and there's a few things that are really fun. Like, I need to look at a track list thing, but yeah, I mean, uh, if you have an iTunes account, you can buy it there. Oh, and wait until it pops up on Amazon. But yeah, I mean, there's one here, track number four, Tricks Up My Sleeve. That's actually a Trixie song, and that sounds so good. And also, if you go down to the bonus track, track number 10, that's actually the first questionable Rainbow Rock shorts, uh, Music to My Ears, the one with vinyl dancing. And this one sounds a lot better than what they gave us. It's really awesome. Well, I haven't heard anything. I just read the news myself. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely give this a try, see how it sounds, listen to how it mm-hmm. sounds. Well, um, if you uh, don't have iTunes or can't wait for Amazon, there's always um, previews on YouTube, <laughs> quote-unquote previews. You mean, oh, the sneak peeks, yeah. 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 I mean, not only that, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> People with internet. Yeah, right. <laughs> But yeah, you could always try that and give it a listen, and if you like it, go buy it. Yeah, 10 bucks seems like a fair price. Mm-hmm. And Lion, um, when I was on your stream, you had one of the songs. So, what do you think, man? Well, the Battle of the Bands, well, let, or <laughs> Let's Have a Battle, yeah. uh, is one that's very hard to get out of your <laughs> head when it's once it's in there. It's, it's almost like winter wrap-up. <laughs> Really, you know. It, it just drills in there and it stays there for a while. And it, it's one of those that are worth it. The thing I'm noticing about this, uh, the whole song is it's really catchy and it's really poppy in a sense where it's totally different from the first Equestria Girl soundtrack. Where Equestria, the first one was like, okay, it was... Uh, it was okay, except for the Cafeteria song, which was awesome. But the rest <laughs> were, okay, I mean... They're fun, but they're not memorable. But in this one, everything works. Everything works. I'll have to listen to it. I haven't given it, given it uh, a shot yet. Yeah, you, you can always find previews for it on YouTube. <laughs> so, anywho, um, EB, what's your opinion on this? Well, I need to be honest. I listen to it. I love the songs, but I do need to keep to my own opinion. <laughs> I'm not really that big of a fan of a crushing girls. Uh, it's understandable, man. It's, it's understandable. I mean... <laughs> I'm a straight up brony. Just plain pony. Yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. People like the ponies instead of the pony archetype girl thingy. So, yeah, I mean, it's understandable. But anywho, Rom, take us out. Well, that was all the news. I am Rom Ewald of the MBR Show News. Back to you, Norman. All right, thanks, Rom. Let's move on to the next topic. And EB, uh, can you join us for this one? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, my dad gave me pizza, so we need to go downstairs right. and have, you know, family dinner. All so right. it was amazing talking with all you people, especially, you know, explaining myself to the audience. It was really an honor to be here. It's no problem, man. It's no problem. I'll link everything into the show notes and um, have fun at dinner, man. I hope, hope you have a good uh, meal. Thank you. Enjoy. Right. Hey, have a great time, everyone. All right, all right. Thanks See a lot. See you, man. See ya. No problem. Bye. Right. Bye. May the balls be with you. So, anyhow, um, speaking about food, we're also nearing our end, too. Oh, so, geez. yeah, I mean, EB has to go, Family Matters. Eh, eh, can't, can't say much about that one. But, anywho, next topic is shout-outs. I'm guessing EB's going to be us, so yay. But, anywho, my shout-out goes to him. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being an awesome guest. And to you two guys, um, Rom, Lion, thank you for being with me thank you for helping me out and thank you for filling in the spots um for the anti-gaps and whatnot thank you man no problem also i need to give out a big shout out to kitsune risu for helping me out when i was in his home turf it was fun hanging out with you man i hope you get better and i hope you be one of those scary clowns that scares people in their dreams (laughs) he will only get that reference if he listens to this and uh rom what about you man Hi, Mom. I should have known it. Any more? That's a running gag, man. There is no more. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, okay. <laughs> let's move on. Lion, what about you? Uh, let's hope it's not your mom. 
<laughs> my mom would have to listen to it. Uh, well, big shout out to the fans and to you, Norm. Thanks again for having me. No problem, no problem. It was fun having you. Oh, God, I, I'm still laughing at Rom's joke. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> so, anywho, <clears throat> if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com. If you would like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. You could also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at mbshow. Sweetie Bot will... Well, I don't know what Sweetie Bot's going to do with this one. <laughs> Probably she will just derp around, do nothing. <laughs> And you can also reach me at Roman Sanzo. I tweet stuff about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. Currently, I'm tweeting about Tumblr stuff. So, yay. And Rom, how can they reach you? You can find me at my Twitter, twitter.com slash romywaldz69, or at my Tumblr, iamrelicious.tumblr.com. Awesome. And Lion, how can they reach you? Well, people can reach me both on the Duo Cartoonist website and YouTube channel, uh, as well as at R underscore S-I-R-O-I-S on Twitter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links will be provided in the show notes. I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romy Wald. I'm Richard. We'll see you guys next week with more guests, I hope. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Laters. Laters. The sound of every beating heart is music to my ears. The melody is torn apart when listening through tears. Is it too soon or am I too late? How have I done? The words still echo, but I'm not repeating one. This is who I meant to be. Raise that sun so I can see again. One by one. Oh.